Hey everybody, how you doing? A little more calm down now. Here's another video on pyrovores and birovores. Some of some nice killy killy units. Uh, a lot of the units that, if, that I'm finding in the Tyranid army really are going to depend upon reserve deployment to be useful. Uh, reserve deployment is the key to winning with the sixth edition. Tyranid army as I see it <clears throat> I've made a whole nother video with a nice long 10 minute rant explaining to people how to make reserve moves if they don't know how to do that now if you do you'll understand what I'm talking about now uh, with pyrovores and biovores walking through tunnels to get to the other side of the table quickly and uh, you'll also understand things like using um, also venom throats to get through the uh, table to the other side of the quickly using warriors to get to the other side of the table quickly using mass amounts of knots that can pop out in units of 30 to get to the other side of the table quickly and then this is why Onslaught is such a beautiful ability, especially if, if you have a, a fly rant who can get within range to cast it on a unit that comes out of a tunnel on a turn that it does. It will allow that move that unit to run and shoot in the same phase, which is brilliant. It's almost as good as the old ability that allow you to assault after dismounting from a vehicle. This is the Tyranids version of being able to do that. So you get your Pyrovores. Strength 5, AP4, basically a heavy flamer. It comes out of a tunnel or something like that and just blasts away. Excellent at clearing out anything that might be there. Things in cover, things in woods, things you just don't like. Again, it also has another, my favorite biomorph built into it because Games Workshop just knows, they know on this one that this unit is, has problems if it doesn't have acid blood and acid maw. It gave it both because it really needs you know that it needs this stuff. In fact, it basically described it as a walking digestive stomach. For those who don't know, Acid blood, any unsaved wound immediately inflicts an auto hit on a target that inflicted the wound at the initiative step that the wound is inflicted, which must be resolved immediately at strength 5 AP2 before the next wound or attack is made, giving you a high probability of killing the unit before it gets to go on to its next attack assuming it has one so, uh, uh, so this means you probably do not want to assault a pyrovore you're going to think long and hard before assaulting that pyrovore because it's 40 points and you're probably going to lose far more and as far as i know you can't refuse to hit so you use that ability and the Acid Maw, which is basically the same thing. It allows the Pyrovore to trade in all of its attacks to make a basically an Acid Blood attack on somebody. This is why you don't care about its weapon skill and you don't really care about its initiative because, hey, you can have some unit charging in at initiative 10. It's still going to take all those acid blood attacks at initiative step 10. And another thing, the Pyrovore only blows up on instant death. Not just death. That's a key point. If you don't instant death it, it just goes away. This is how I use it. It's it's it, 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 when you pop it out through tunnels and things like that. It's it's very useful for clearing the way out of it. It depends on the. It's three of them. Three heavy flamers pop out. 
with onslaught it's three heavy flavors and if you have let's not forget the tyranid prime independent character it can join units i don't see why it can't join a unit of three bio uh pyrovars pyrovars and join them through the tunnel and say hey how you doing guys i mean you can really build whatever combination you want it's up to you it's up to you maybe you want that prime to join a a, a brood of venom thropes maybe you want them to join a brood of biovores i don't know and they can come out and shoot uh cluster mines on that turn and just blee um the the options are endless go for it but once you start thinking about the units that way as what can you do with them after they pop out of the tunnel or after they outflank or after they infiltrate and get rid of the mindset that everything has to walk across the table you really start to understand the power of the tyranid army list that's the basic change that needs to be made in in sixth edition so i i don't think i really have to explain to people the usefulness of a heavy flamer but if you so just use it that's how i would use a pyrovore i hope the light bulbs are going off over tyranid players heads all over the world now and saying ha 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 oh oh and if they do assault me ha 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 imagine three pyrovores and wall of death 3d3 hits on the unit coming in followed by acid blood it looks like a little wimpy creature but try it yourself with the die rolls you're gonna see it's gonna wipe out oh well whoever's gonna charge into it is not gonna have a happy time <clears throat> try it out I think it's a very viable unit um great at killing infantry great at even killing space marines really with the strength five uh and anything else you know orc orc boys necrons even whatever it's try it it's a good unit it's a good unit if you like flamers eat them up and until next time have fun eating all of the other races in the game because that's what we're gonna do everybody in the galaxy is tyranid food yummy see you next time mm.